what do we have here today? We have some two town cider house. Marissimo, we got a special guest with us, Joaquin. What's going on? All the way from Inglewood coming to visit us today. Two Town Cider House from Corvallis, Oregon. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, they're a great company. You guys know them for like ciders and, and uh, they got a special one here. What is this? Barrel aged, let me read it. Barrel aged, uh, Marissimo barrel aged apple blackberry wine today. So here we go. We're going to give it a try. What do you think, Joaquin? I can't think wait. It's going to be good. Can't wait. Okay. Can't wait. Get that. What do we got to pair with it? Some nice chocolate. Mm -hmm. Some nice dark chocolate mm. from Montezuma's. Montezuma. The UK. The UK. Okay, let's get it. Cheers. Hey. Look at the legs. Mm, look at those. Look at those legs. It smells nice. I get like raisin, almost like a port. It's very nice. What's the percentage of alcohol in this guy? Nineteen percent. Holy. Here we go. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. It's got a little bit of like a sour bite to it, but this nice raisin. What do you get? Blackberry, I get, I get the blackberry. I, I get a trip to the to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> In the back nice. of the bottle it says parallels with dark chocolate. Mm. Hits the, the, the pairing, dark chocolate. Uh, I'll take some out. Very nice though, Two Town Cider House. Who would have thought they put a nice little uh, barrel aged wine and that it would be so good. What else would you serve it with? It's Yeah, it says serve with dark chocolate, other fine desserts, and it's best served slightly chilled. Like we a, did that. A tiramisu. Mm. Tiramisu? Mm-hmm. Mm, nice decadent kind of. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So a little bit about a Marisimo. Our Marissimo is crafted with Marion blackberries and Pacific Northwest apples. Once the ripe apples have been sweated at cool temperatures, they are pressed and fermented with local Marion berries, then aged with apple au de vie. Matured in French oak barrels for one year, Marissimo emerges as a delightful twist on our more traditional palmau. Brimming with dark berry character enveloped in complex notes of oak spice, Marissimo can accompany an array of dark chocolates and other fine desserts and it serves slightly chilled. Incredible. I just want to say that this episode is sponsored by Sisters Barn. <laughs> Barbara, we got you. Sisters Barn. Mmm. Yeah, that chocolate, kind of the chocolate on its own is like a little dry but heavy, but mixed in with this wine, it's delicious. Wow, what a combination. A nice alternative for people that like port, that want to try something new. Maybe you like uh, ciders and you like wine a little bit and pour and you want something in between, I think this is a great uh, aperitif. So after dinner, go ahead. I personally hate ciders. Mm. I, I don't like ports, but this is something I definitely enjoy. So yeah. So the Rob. opposite of what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is great. This is the, oh, like, is this, this is like not, not that it's the opposite, it's just yeah. from outsider in looking in, this is, this is amazing. Mm. It's great dessert. It could uh, appeal to many people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Two Town Cider House. It's got this cool wax cork, right, or wax top rather, over the uh, cork. Mm -hmm. Pretty badass. Um, well, let us know what you guys think, okay? Anything else? Any parting uh, notes? 19% um, alcohol. It's awesome. Wow. This is a 375. 375 ml. Because it's 90% probably. Yeah, you don't need to have no. a whole bottle of This it. is uh, Oregon at its best. I can tell you that much now. Corvallis, Oregon yeah. at its best. I P like that. PNW. Oh, it has an award on the front. Take a look. What did it win? Oh, no, it's just a vintage. 2018 vintage. Yeah. For all of you that want to know. Mmm, incredible. Definitely a must try. Have a good night, guys.